I M H O Talk Show, Sir Charles, Miss Max, and yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Um, back like we never left, Miss Max, and mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> another, another, another deep conversation that you know that we're gonna bring it to the people as only we can. You know, true. In my humble opinion, for sure. And we are joined by our, our brother. Um, he's been here before. Listening to the audience. Um, and for uh, for those who are the first time listeners, uh, we, don't worry, we're going to get you caught up as well. None other than our brother, um, Dr. Hashim Davis. Um, Mr. Davis, how are you doing today, sir? Oh, I'm well. How are you doing? Good, good, good. good. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And anytime, anytime. And so the last time you were with us, um, you were an, um, an esteemed uh, educator over at Albemarle County High School. And um, and you also uh, joined us to talk about uh, the, the the fellowship on uh, that deals with Jewish history that that you are also um, a part of. Yes, sir. And so now one of those things have changed since yeah. then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so go ahead, let, go ahead and give the people a little update on what you're up to now. Yeah. So um, thank you for having me. Um, yeah. So the the biggest change um, really is now I'm at the University of Virginia. Um, the role that I'm um, I've been very fortunate to, to be endowed with, to be blessed with, is that I'm the assistant dean at the Office of African American Affairs, mm. as well as the director of the Luther Porter Jackson Black Cultural Center. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Congratulations. Where, thank yes, you. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Many, many roles there, but um, um, I'm, I've been blessed for 25 years in, in K-12 public mm-hmm. education, and um, so this is just uh, another ascension Mm-hmm. On, on my quest it's just you know just just right, studying right. And, and teaching so th- this is another role mm-hmm. that's right still serving the young people yes, still sir. mentoring yes, in many capacities mentoring yeah. um, everything from um, mentoring as as a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated okay to uh, just now we, we're, we're spearheading um, different initiatives starting in the fall with with, with reaching out to the community mm-hmm. um, I'm, I'm still active um with my role in, in teaching other educators how to teach Holocaust and genocide as, mm-hmm. a, as a member of uh, the Echoes and Reflection facilitator. So I'm essentially just teaching teachers how to teach uh, genocide as effectively and as, as, as cogently as possible. Mm. So. Gotcha. Awesome. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff, my man. So, um, man, let's let's actually talk about that. So, so being um, a part of, um, you know, uh, the Office of African-American Affairs, um, but having that background um, and with all that's going on, you know, in our world right now, where it seems like that, that divide, as we talked about last time, like it seems like that divide, you know, just never has, has, has led up but when it comes to the understanding of, 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 you know, from the historical perspective of when we talk about what's happening, you know, in, in the Middle East between um, Israel, Palestine, you know, and, and uh, with Hamas, um, and like that region when it comes to it being territorial and people understanding the history thereof um, of, of, of all the people. Right. So that so we have that perspective um, that, that, you know, that we wanted to kind of kind of get your thoughts on. Um, but then also being at the University of Virginia, first thing that comes to my mind is that you're dealing with 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 young people. And I'm curious if, if this if your office is faced with this when it comes to um, when we see the young people who may have family right over there or they may Mm. be descendants of um you know of a particular nationality and whatnot is that is is your office or because of your experience are are they tapping you to kind of maybe squelch some some things that's that's you know that's happening with your Um, job yes so we have an eclectic mix of of students Mm -hmm. that we serve um our our office um is specific and unique in that it 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 caters to those students who identify as African or the African diaspora, African American mm-hmm. history. So that, that it's, it's it's unique in that fold. Um, with respect to what's happening in the Middle East, um, and, and and you know to put that out there, just as being as transparent, I, I'm, I'm by no means am I a, a spokesperson for the university. That mm-hmm. that's you mm-hmm. know that's beyond my pay grade, mm-hmm. so to speak. But um, We've we've had conversations with um, other students, uh, uh, Muslim students, uh, specifically specifically Palestinian students, and one of the things that I was pleased with mm-hmm. was how 
the university allowed for the for the Palestinian students to um, to to give insight as to what is happening. There wasn't really a, a, a big fanfare insofar as it wasn't public, mm-hmm. and so that they they could receive any 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 criticism. They were actually. In, in visiting that space and, and listening to them give their, their lecture and to give them their, the, the background, mm-hmm. they're actually very uh, um, appreciative that, you know, in, in my capacity, that I would, I would be able to support them. Um, okay. And so, so, so I, 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 w- I was really very fortunate to be there. Having been in Israel um, and, and, and studied in, in Israel um, extensively, there is an, an interesting... Um, there, there's interesting layers that that exist pretty much at the same time, right? It's it's beautiful, it's mm-hmm. a beautiful country, um, but there's heavy history that's right. laid Absolutely. in that. And so, when one is is about to travel to the to the praying wall and you go into the old town, you're going to be confronted with um, there, there are Palestinians there, mm-hmm. and they they have they're very opinionated about. Mm-hmm. How things are, are are happening, and so it, it's a it's a balancing line given what my role and what my job is and who I'm representing, but mm-hmm. at the same time as a as, as a human, mm-hmm. um, and and as a human who happens to be you know black and male and and, and American, mm-hmm. right. um, that there is an, an affinity to to want to lean into the empathy of. All who's involved, mm-hmm. right? So I, 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 it, my training is such that it's not about comparing trauma. It's, okay. But I can be able to call out and say, you know, this individual has a story to mm-hmm. tell, and that's that's really what, you know, our our, our students want to they want to have they want to have mm-hmm. a, a a platform and in, in an area where they can be able to express. And, and share mm-hmm. and and again this is not about saying you know this this group somehow is not legitimate versus this other mm-hmm. group it's just yeah they, they need their voice to be heard as well and so that that's where we're at absolutely because yeah, i can imagine that you know being at a university is you know like the kids' well-being is 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 priority for everybody, right? You make sure that they feel it's a safe space, it's a nurturing environment, mm-hmm. and whatnot. Um, but I have to ask as well, you know, being African American affairs, I, I know that there's, um, it, you know, sp- people of African descent as well mm-hmm. who also believe that that that, that they have lineage. So, yeah. uh, so I'm I'm curious have um have have you dealt with that at all through African American affairs of 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 some of the maybe the students of African descent right who are, who who are also I may have come across yeah. a handful of students who will pull me to the side and say oh it's 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 kind of cool that I can speak to you ab- mm-hmm. about whatever mm-hmm. um but that that isn't really what their issue is at this moment Mm -hmm. right like Mm -hmm. this is april if there's anything heavy on their mind the biggest thing that's on their mind right now is exams and (laughs) And if you're a fourth year student if you're a senior you're trying to you're trying to be out Mm -hmm. so so that you know it's 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 as we like to say well that's a rather political response no that's (laughs) it's just that isn't a forum that that they're having right now. In the okay. beginning, I'm absolutely certain that that was on the forefront. Mm-hmm. The, the 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 challenge is the 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 longer that this war remains, mm-hmm. um, the the likelihood that if you have if you don't have a family, if you don't have any skin in the game, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's not going to be on your forefront. That's not just exclusive to University of Virginia. That's just how it is. Yes. It's mm-hmm. we're we're insular in in from from a geographical sense, yeah. but also, you know, we have we have a limited attention span. Yeah, yeah. And so the biggest thing that we're hearing now is. Oh, you know, how's Trump going to escape off of this, <laughs> you know, the 91, 80, whatever indictments he have? Oh, he's finally going to court. Like, that's the thing that's being put into the forefront. Mm-hmm. 
and and then there's that balance in terms of <laughs> what's happening over in Arizona, what's happening mm. with 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 state mm-hmm. mandates and 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 local laws, and you pulling out archaic law pieces that you know we you know we're talking about that, and students are wondering, well, if they can bring back something that happened before Arizona was was a state or before the end of the Civil War. Mm-hmm. Like, what else could they... You know, that's the kind of conversations we're having. Um, mm-hmm. it, and, and looking at that as a macro level versus I, a, yeah. a, a, a micro. I also yeah, wonder you. if people have a limited attention span because they view this war as an age-old war um, and and the, the root cause of it dating back to biblical times and really what are we really going to do about this so yeah yeah there you know i'm I'm not a theologian Mm -hmm. right by any stretch of the imagination Mm -hmm. um but you got something to say (laughs) yeah yes i do um again disclaimer comments Mm -hmm. expressed by me doesn't necessarily flat right okay um absolutely on on a on that level that this the conflict is is older than time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in memoriam. Mm-hmm. But our our limited insight, unless we're you know double PhD in in geopolitics and the Middle Eastern and and, and and that sort of thing, no one's to your point. No one's really invested mm-hmm. in it. And mm-hmm. then when you when you look at it through the lens of religion. Mm-hmm. Some of it is so antagonistic that you're not going to be able to sift through what the immediacy is. Mm -hmm. The immediacy is this was a horrific thing Mm -hmm. that has. This is a horrific thing that was done at the hands of an an identified terrorist group, Hamas. Yeah. How is this being matriculated and how is this being played out is sort of a us versus them in other words is is the israelis versus the palestinians mm-hmm. what happened on october so let's look at the facts from there mm-hmm. that's how i if i need to find a space that i can land on where mm-hmm. i'm i'm being judicious and i need to think clearly mm-hmm. then then i need to get back into the the the, the hat and where the historian had and go. Well, what what are the facts? Yeah, these are yeah. the facts. These are the things that had happened. What are we dealing with now? Mm-hmm. And and so we're looking at policy. We're looking at policy that many citizens, not just within the United States, but globally, they have a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. And and first and foremost, what happened at the hands of Hamas? Is horrific. Yeah. So let let's we we don't want to mince words with that. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of how the Biden administration is handling it, the the opinion is you could be doing more. Yeah. And how do you how do you balance that in terms of doing more? Mm-hmm. In in the eyes of Palestinians, in the eyes of Muslims. Mm-hmm. They're looking at mm-hmm. it and going, well, what can you do, Mr. Mm-hmm. Prince? You could be doing more. Mm-hmm. And and perhaps, perhaps not. Mm-hmm. What I would say is it is a difficult position mm-hmm. because he's the president of the United States. He's not the prime minister of Israel. Mm-hmm. So ultimately, it's not just a it's, it's not a, a one off. Mm hmm. That whole conversation in terms of a two-state solution is going to involve not just the United States, okay. not just Israel. Mm-hmm. You have Sir, you you have uh, 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 um, Egypt. Mm-hmm. You have all of the surrounding uh, uh, countries that that have to have a play right. at the table, and it's not just. I'm going to be an isolationist mm-hmm. and I'm not, I'm not going to get involved mm-hmm. and let them handle mm-hmm. that. In mm-hmm. some respects, that's how people are handling mm-hmm. it. Like that, that's so far away. I don't, I don't have to deal with it, but it, it has ripple effects, yeah. especially mm-hmm. when you have uh, um, 
um, groups who are who are who are discussing and, mm -hmm. and saying, hey, you're going to lose a block of, of, of voters mm -hmm. based on how you are handled. So right. then it becomes political. And yeah, then you yeah. start moving from the federal all the way down to the local level where they're you know, offering an opinion about it, and mm, this yeah. is how they want to do it. And and as 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 your civic duty, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is awesome, right? Like that you can have these conversations and and compel your your elected officials to do something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So so that's <clears throat> that's if if you look at it from a, a from again from from a positive, I guess mm -hmm. y there's. Conversation that's being spurned by this, okay. yeah. but but it needs to be informed. So yeah. before we move any further, can you can I ask you to provide your best account of what happened with respect to uh, October seventh and with Hamas and yes, leading up yeah. to present yeah. day. So so um, on October seventh, Hamas had launched a, a a scale assault on on. These citizens mm -hmm. um, who were for all intents and purposes, they were chilling. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And it was horrific from all accounts mm -hmm. in terms of um, the amount of destruction, um, the death, mm -hmm. the, 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 the assault. Um, and then it, and, it, and it now it takes a turn because as Israel is responding, mm -hmm. the, the idea that, you know, Hamas is, has you know, underground, and they're, they're they're hiding behind their citizens, and so Israel is launching in response. Mm -hmm. It, it retaliate, you know, being retaliative mm -hmm. and saying, "Hey, we're going to go after you. We're going to mm -hmm. go after you, Hamas." Um, and they're, now there are hostages involved, mm -hmm. and so the, the 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 issue now is we're now how many months into this, mm -hmm. um, and and the question now is surfacing on well, what's happening with with the prime minister and 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 there's criticism in terms of how he's handled it, um, um, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Um, mm -hmm. What what where does the Biden administration falls in? Where does the world fall into this? Mm -hmm. It 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 becomes a quagmire. But the chief, most important thing to note is the amount of the amount of death. At the at the hands of what's happening, mm -hmm. you're talking something right. in a neighborhood of darn near thirteen and a half thousand children who were killed mm -hmm. um, in this war in six months, mm -hmm. right? When you again, you're not. It's not about comparing, but the the you know the Bosnian War. How long was that? Four years, six thousand, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So the the sheer scale and scope is is beyond the pale mm -hmm. and you know I'm I'm of the I'm of the opinion war war is 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 an atrocity because civilians mm -hmm. are the one that 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 plays the they, they pay the brunt of it especially right. when you're in an area as condensed yeah. as that is okay. thank um, you it it's how 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 can you scale this in a way not being flippant? Oh, with war, they're going to be collateral damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, but warfare has changed. Yeah, and it, it's whenever you're dealing with war and you're in a heavily populated environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the numbers right. are gonna the numbers are gonna be um, they're gonna be grim. But but again, my concern is we're, we're talking about children. Yeah. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, how you doing, sir? I got a question doing? for you. All right, now this is just me asking a question. <laughs> <laughs> Why should Black America care when we had a war waged on us here in America? Our prisons are full of people. Like mm -hmm. it always seems like. We're expected to care about everybody else but our own. And I can't think of a time where another country reached out over here in America and talk about the atrocities that was done to us to where they asked for United Nations movement or their own country to weigh in on uh, things. Now, I'm not trying to be against anybody by no means, but 
I have to ask the question, why are we always asked to have a say so in it? Like, why are we teaching our children higher education at universities to care about somebody else but themselves? So maybe the reason that your students aren't talking about it in the latter part of their uh, the year is because the issues that they care about, nobody's talking about or nobody doing nothing about. Right. That's just my mm-hmm. question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, when we look at black people in this country and, and we look at the last elections and mm. who was at the forefront in terms of saving democracy, we're talking black women, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. 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 But the direct answer to your to your your question, brother, is at the 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 basis of the hyphen, and that's American. And despite my grievances to how this country has handled people of color, specifically black people, mm-hmm. I'm hopeful as an American that my actions can can spur the next generation to go out and speak out and say, okay, here's what we're going to do. Because I, I don't want it to be a situation where we can go out and do everything else, but nobody's addressing us. That's, but for the most part, that that's correct, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you, 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 you're not going to be able to throw money at, 400 years of 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 mm. of systemic institutionalized racism right like you you can make mm-hmm. some some um some changes and and there have been some changes now there seems to be an assault on these changes because now woke is a thing i, mm-hmm. I don't know what that was all about and <laughs> and dei is now the new catchphrase mm-hmm. right like mm-hmm. like you know, that's a bad the, word. The, it is right, yeah. but but you know when you you think about something as 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 tragic as what happened in Baltimore, with the Francis Scott Keebs Bridge collapsing as a result of of the ship colliding into it, instead of rallying around as we want to do mm-hmm. to help our 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 folk. It became more pejorative because Baltimore is what, 70, 75 percent black? Mm. The, the, the mayor is black. The governor, who is my fraternity brother, he's black. Mm-hmm. And so, folks, to your point, maybe nursing their wounds and maybe mumbling themselves, well, why should I do anything or why is our government always going out abroad to lift hand when we have issues here and and the the sad truth is quantify that my opinion okay mm-hmm. <laughs> enforced by history is that and I said it before and the last time I was here we lack the courage to be able to address the biggest sin that we've had and that was how we dealt with the black person Mm -hmm. here in this country we don't know how to address meaningfully racism and it's easy for us to kind of come within and look and say okay so we're going to go out and we're going to help country A to deal with whatever, right? Like, Mm. go back to World War II. Biggest racist, right? Adolf Hitler, Mm -hmm. right? Of of course, we're going to do something. But one of the ironies that was pointed out, it was in the Double V campaign, right? It was going to be victory against fascism abroad, but we got issues here at home so you had african-american soldiers fighting as they wanted to as they needed to as they desired to to fight against that oppression at 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 abroad but they were also pointing out the inequities and the hypocrisy at Mm. play 
here, yeah. mm-hmm. right? And it's same <clears throat> that that same fervor and that r- realization of fighting war abroad without, to your point, not addressing the issues here, became glaringly apparent. I mean, incandescently mm-hmm. apparent. Mm-hmm. So we switch gears and we move into the Cold War. And the reality is you you want to f- stop the spread of communism through these these brown countries. But you also know that there's some big issues here. And I can't tell folks, believe in democracy, mm-hmm. believe in our way of democracy and our way of doing things mm-hmm. when it is obvious mm-hmm. that you're not addressing the issues at home. So now we're going to have to we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to show that we we mean what we say. Yeah. So certainly we're going to integrate the 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 armed forces mm-hmm. under Truman, right? Certainly we're going to look at some different things as we're making headway into fighting the Cold War, but it still doesn't address the fact that there's grave inequities and so this is a scenario this this situation over in the middle east this situation over ukraine has little to do with how black people have been treated insofar as you're talking about colonialism you're 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 talking about unbridled power that's left unchecked Mm -hmm. so to some of our our brothers and sisters they're going well that kind of sounds like this is what's happening here the the only thing that i would add in terms of just a slight pushback is we didn't have you know the 82nd airborne or the 101st like Mm. just raining on us right Mm -hmm. like at at a certain level we pull back and you can you can walk and chew gum at the same time you can feel a particular way about what's happening among Mm -hmm. domestically about Mm -hmm. folks but you could still also say that's wrong yeah what's Mm -hmm. happening abroad without it being a you know, sort of a quid pro quo. Right? And, and you know what? The the point that you're making here um, was a public debate um, over the course of the past few weeks um, because members of the Charlottesville community were calling for our city council to pass a ceasefire, an Israel-Hamas ceasefire mm-hmm. um, resolution. And so um, that request went before city council twice. It was um, not passed the first time and ultimately passed the second time around. But that was the part of the debate was whether or not, A, it was um, local government's place to weigh in on international affairs for for various reasons. And then, B, what about the other, you know, atrocities and horrific things that are occurring across the globe? Um, and, and what value, I mean, are we saying we're going to, approve a resolution for all of these other things too um and and people very were very passionate about their viewpoints ultimately um the the request was approved but yes that was a topic of debate for a while there i I would like to see more um i would like to see more Excitement mm-hmm. is the bad. It, it's just the wrong word. Mm-hmm. I'd like to see a little more um, passion mm-hmm. about what's happening in Haiti. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right. Mm-hmm. And I would like to see that same urge f- that we were looking at Ukraine. Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd like to see that that same energy. Mm-hmm. In, in Haiti, yeah, um, and it, and it seems at times that when it comes to Haiti, that it's almost an afterthought. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think um, we know why. And 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 yeah, I mean, <laughs> for for those who are not aware, you know, 
Haiti is the first country in the Western Hemisphere to be run and 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 freed by black people. That's right, yes. right. And so, even in the history of how domestically we wanted to keep that mm-hmm. under wraps, so folks were like, whoa, 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 mm-hmm. whoa. We don't want we don't want right folks out here to get any kind of ideas Mm -hmm. it's just been that thing and and it's it's unfortunate it's 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 unfortunate that that's what it is definitely if you're you in little haiti up in florida that's going to have Mm -hmm. um um um, it's going to hit differently than Mm -hmm. where we're at in virginia but that doesn't mean that folks aren't thinking the same thing right uh, but what, what do you think the impact of that? Do, do you feel that that's of importance for local jurisdictions um, to make such statements, to, to petition your town council, your city councils to, to speak up? Do, I, do you feel I, that's needed for the conflict? I think I think <clears throat> when it comes to why localities will make a petition to speak up on it is because their citizens, their, their, their folk within the community— Mm-hmm. aren't just in from that community. Mm-hmm. Right, right. And so there's going to, it, it shows you that we're, we can't be an isolationist. It shows mm-hmm. us that we can't be supremely insular mm-hmm. because everything is affecting us. Again, I go back to what happened in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. That port is responsible for how much commerce mm. oh, yeah. that's coming in and out. So it's not something as simple as, man, we're not even trying to pour any money mm-hmm. onto them because, you know, the bridge came apart because of DEI. Mm-hmm. Crazy. There's bananas mm-hmm. right yeah. now. But you you can't get to pick and choose when you you want to be able to respond mm-hmm. to to a thing. Mm-hmm. And you know, there, there are folks who are like, yo, I don't like the idea that you only want to respond to black and brown folk through trauma. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that's 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 the truth that that's not sustainable. Mm-hmm. It's not sustainable when you when you're looking at what's happening in the world. The bro- it just can't sustain us. Can I push back a little bit? Absolutely. <laughs> I think black America has to pick and choose because chewing gum and walking at the same time means that our issues get diluted. Like we are not in a position to give ourselves money to help Haiti because they fought back and freed themselves. We're not in a position to say, OK, we marched and we stood up when all the people were getting killed and the numbers and wore T-shirts and everything else. Right. And all they do is sit back and wait for it to fizzle off and then give us a little stimulus check and everybody forget talking about it. So I am not against feeling like you say it. I can have empathy for what's going on. That does not mean I have to have a call of action if my stuff has to go to the um, background and yours goes to the front. Right, right, right. And let, let me add on to that because, and thank you for that, Razor, because you made a comment earlier about, you know, like there's no amount of money that um, that you could throw at the, um, the atrocities that's been done against black Americans. But I think we all will agree, though, the billions that we, you know, send, the you know, trillions that we put into war and supporting other countries, like there's so much rebuilding that could be done right, right, yeah, yeah, right here I mean, it's, on the homeland, it, right? It, it is, it is bipartisan support when it comes to defense spending mm-hmm. right we're oh, yeah, talking yeah. trillions mm-hmm. of dollars mm-hmm. right uh, i read an article in new york times uh about a week ago that said hey states are doling out m- you know tens of millions of dollars so that they can get a hand in hollywood just so that the you know the Hollywood can come in and make money, like, mm-hmm. and 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 one person was like, "Could you imagine what you could have done with that yeah. money instead of throwing it like?" And and you're trying to outbid one another, and and they're they're naked with that, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So so to the point of, you know, putting money out there and throwing money in it. My rationale with that is. We're never going to agree mm-hmm. 
the dollar amount, the commas, and the zeros. We're, we're not. Mm-hmm. Because that means that my trauma has finite. Like, it has a limit. Mm. I, I, see. Um, I see. I know that there are other states and, and, and governments, state governments, who, who are handling it differently. California is one, mm-hmm. right? Uh, um, Yale did something else as well as, as, as Georgetown, right? Like, they're, they're, they're doing what they can. But until, to your point, until we are honest mm-hmm. with what we need to do, like, I mean, it's wish fulfillment, mm-hmm. right? Like, I'm going to close my eyes like like Diana Ross, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> and just click my heels and say, this is what I would want. Mm-hmm. What would I want within this un- these United States? Let's sit here and really hammer at what we did was wrong. Mm-hmm. What we did to you was wrong generationally it's wrong now as as it was told to me Mm -hmm. it's not enough to just apologize right it's i apologize how can i make this right Mm -hmm. yeah but at least we we took steps we we, you know no no we've only did i apologize Mm -hmm. and that was begrudgingly Right. I, I, yeah, I, I totally get it. I was going to say, but like for the Japanese, like like there was tangible things like even Native Americans got like reservations, even though that's, you know, like the government still jacked it up and, 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 and they don't respect, you know, yeah, um, the, I, the reservations. But I'm saying it seems like every other culture that that America's done atrocities to, there is tangible things that, that you know, like that it looks like to, they're going to, the to community. Yeah. Except and, and, the black I, and I cannot for the life of me outside of saying what's the obvious rationale as to why what is it about we're not a country like we're, we're not a like we are a and people gonna hate when I say this we are a created race we were pushed together from different tribes and forced to sleep together the American people is a created race so we have no flag we have no country to go back to. Are you talking to. about just black Americans? Yeah that, I'm talking, talking about, about to get money like everybody that y'all are naming has a country has a flag, has a place in the U.N. We don't have mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. I believe that's why they mm-hmm. won't give us something. Mm-hmm. But they won't look you in your face and tell mm-hmm. you, I'm not going to give you something because I created you. Mm-hmm. You're, you're not really of if each country is its own individual place in Africa. And we are a combination of everything that was pushed together mm-hmm. and then everything that was raped mm-hmm. and, and made to take care of one another and everything that was mixed up together you're created mm-hmm. like the the mm-hmm. the worst way to say it and this is and I'm saying it because <laughs> I want to get everybody's attention is do you put more value in the purebred dog or the mutt so they treat us like the mutt so until we can get together and say okay regardless of what how I got here we're going to stand and we're going to become something mm-hmm. together that's yeah, why it's easy it, to divide us because yeah, we're the, all part of too many things. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at it. At, yes, we're an amalgamation, um, and 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 again, you know, maybe it's maybe I'm looking at it from from a lens of 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 hope, mm. right? As a parent, um, thanks be God, I'm a grandparent as well. Okay, congratulations. Um, yeah, uh, my, my my son. Yeah, boy. <laughs> um, no, I, 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 I love him. Um, yes, when I look at my granddaughter, and she's six months, she has less freedoms than girls before her. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Explain it. So, so consider. There is a war against women's autonomy. It's a right, health right. issue. At at best, it's a health issue. Mm-hmm. It's it's it, it's it's a health mandate. But when you look at how legislatively they're going after, and I mean they're going hard in the paint. Mm-hmm. My granddaughter is now living in the country where she doesn't have those rights 
as folks had 50 years ago. Mm-hmm. Are we going to look at that? Can we look at that and say, well, what do you do as a as a black woman? Right. Yeah. I mean, at, at, at the very base, you know. Moving beyond the religious component, if you can, I'm just talking from a legal standpoint. Right. I'm talking about resurrecting a law Mm -hmm. in which it was older than before Arizona became a state. 1864, the Civil War is still going on. Lincoln was just reelected before women had the right to vote. Right. Women had the right to vote with the passage of the 19th and 19th Amendment in 1920. Mm. What does that leave my granddaughter? Where she's not going to be looked at and, and she's biracial, right? Mm. right? Her, 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 her mother is Latino and, and, you know, and then there's my son, right? Like, so, so, so my son has some, some challenges in in so far and he the homie lives in North Carolina. I don't even know what's going on down there mm-hmm. with, with the with the with the GOP gubernatorial <laughs> candidate there. You know, so so when it comes to the 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 carrying of the banner and the flag and what we're representing, my only slight pushback is that I, I I'm repping the flag of the United States. And the United States says we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they're endowed with inalienable rights of life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. And no matter how imperfect this country is, and it is, in, it is, it is imperfect. Mm-hmm. The founders are imperfect. But we're on the cusp. And I will say for, for our listeners out there, if you are riding the fence, if you're indecisive at this moment mm-hmm. because you don't like anybody, <clears throat> you don't like this dude here and you don't like this dude here. As a genocide and Holocaust historian, let me point out, if you don't do something, mm-hmm. you're actually complicit for the worst thing. In other mm-hmm. words, candidate representing the GOP had already said on day one I'm going to be a dictator yep so whatever issue you may have within this democracy which is cool imagine what that's going to look like under a dictatorship Mm. if 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 you thought you was catching hell now Mm. Hmm? Mm-hmm. If, you, mm-hmm. if you thought she was catching hell now. So this isn't wish fulfill. I would wish that it was somebody else. No, we don't have time for that. Mm. Like the, this is who you have. This is what you have. Mm. And so if you want to fight and continue can continue the fight. You would want to do so under a democracy. That's what's going to unite all of us despite the different flags, despite our differences, mm-hmm. we could still unite under democracy. We cannot unite under democracy if there is no democracy. Mm-hmm. That's, that's where we're at right now. That's yeah. the macro. Mm-hmm. We, I, 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 would, I, I tell my students, I can debate with you all day, every day, because I want to. But we have to have a commonality. We have to have a common agreement that gravity exists. Mm. We have to have a commonality that you may have your opinion, you may have your opinion, but at the end of the day, we can have a space where we can talk about Mm -hmm. this. This right here, this setup, Mm -hmm. you're not going to have this under... You're not going to have this under dictatorship. Mm -hmm. You're definitely not going to have it under an individual who is as petty as this... Mm-hmm. premier wannabe dictator mm-hmm. so we could we we can yeah. we can have these discussions and we could push back and fight and and legislate and and de- but we can't do that 
when you you're saying on one hand, I don't want government to interfere with my life. But then you turn around and you pass the most draconian law and say, I don't respect you. Like, I don't see how that works. Mm -hmm. And as and as men, Mm -hmm. as black men, Mm -hmm. our aunties, our our wives, Mm -hmm. our girlfriends, our sisters, our mothers, they're going to be affected. You're going to catch hell, too. And we can't again. Speak in this spirit and in this 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 environment if we don't have the capacity to do so, right? Because yeah, we're we're under an entirely different set of circumstances. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey Razor, you know something I wanted to point out to you, I've been thinking since your last comment too, is that like even Native Americans, like they, they have flags of their tribes. Mm-hmm. I still feel like that we have teachers and we we as we as a people and I totally respect, you know, like that we all are, you know, Americans here, black Americans would not. We are under that United States of America. But at the same time, like when we think about some of the philosophies that tried to liberate us that we, for whatever reasons, didn't fully rally behind, I just think personally how far ahead that we would be and how empowered that we mm-hmm. would be. When we think about Marcus Garvey, who said that Marcus Garvey specifically said that a people without a flag, you know, are, are not, a, are not a people at all. Mm-hmm. Right. It's, it's, it's like, you need that representation. Right. And then you, you could even go on down the line, you know, like to, to, to Malcolm X, you know, it talks about like, we'd only people who trust those who enslaved us to then educate us. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like, so we, 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 like we've had all these times to rally mm-hmm. and to have an identity, you know, to your point. We we did, yeah. and and we also look at how these you know the, these brothers was handled. How yeah. yeah you know the the leaders of the movement have been handled because of this idea that that there's going to be a a a, a masonic figure, a messianic figure. Mm-hmm. We we the government handled that, and mm-hmm. I I think that that's a reflection of the power. Of of what they could convey among the people and the the power that they had that caused the government to fear them, mm-hmm. so that we we been battered and bruised and we didn't rally around those people, but it would have worked if we had some backing up. That's true. That's true. Right. So when you look at the indigenous cool that they was placed on reservations really not nah, it's just a prison without walls mm. right yeah i mean they they the indigenous they 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 they, they caught it right? right absolutely so so when we look at where we can rally out for me i i tell my students we have a rallying point and that rallying point is being able to not look at this country like this is the handmaiden's tale. Hmm. We can look at this country where it's not going to... I mean, you could say we're the laughing stock of the world, whatever. What I do know is this is not going to be it Hmm. if he gets into the White House. That's Mm -hmm. That's just... Those are just the facts. Mm-hmm. Those are the facts. This is not. Oh my God, he's 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 trying to rally it up and he's trying to scare. No, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not. I mean, the first go around, he didn't know what he was doing, mm-hmm. right? He, <laughs> he would have thought didn't. we would have learned. Mm-hmm. He, he he didn't know what he's doing. Now <clears throat> he's saying, "Oh, now I know, and I have a I have some cadre around me that that's." doing this thing that studies this that's that's imploring this Mm -hmm. so if we don't come together and and decide are you going to be for this thing or you're not going to be for this thing Mm -hmm. right in 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 holocaust education we have what we call upstanders and we have bystanders right Mm -hmm. and 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 you have perpetrators and and any given point as complex as the history is a person could be any of those Right. But if you're sitting around 
and you're going, well, what's the purpose of me doing this? No one ever listens. No, we're listening. We're, we're listening. I, I would I would implore you. I would I would sit here and think if you, God forbid, were being assaulted and there was people there, you would at the very least want somebody to assist you and help you. But if they sat there and was like, well, it ain't, it's not my problem. I, you know, this, mm. that, that's where we're at. Mm. That, that's where we're at. When it comes yeah. to a flag, you know, I, I, I have students who are like straight, like whether they're from the Congo, whether they're from Ghana, mm-hmm. whether they're from Nigeria, like they're here. And the bigger question that I'm asking is, well, why did you decide to come to UVA? Right. You could have you could have chosen any other any university. What is it about University of Virginia that compelled you to come here? And the answer is, as it, it struck me, you want to be here at the university because it represents the best. Hmm. It represents the best. It, it If it wasn't University of Virginia and we were living in Connecticut, you'd want to go to Yale. You'd want to go to UConn. If it was Massachusetts, MIT, or Harvard. Right. UVA represents this thing. And you were the big fish in the local pond, whether you was from Nova or right, right. wherever. Now you're here and you're testing your medal <clears throat> against everyone else. How do I... As, as an assistant dean, as, as Dean Davis, what can I do to help foster your talent in, this, in, in, in the midst of this highly competitive environment? I'm not looking at you at that moment as a Ghanaian or a Nigerian, mm-hmm. not because I disrespect that, but as, as a teacher, you're my student, mm-hmm. first and foremost. How do you know? Um, I'm I'm looking at it from the standpoint of how can I help you best navigate in this space? <coughs> I'm sorry, I didn't ask you right. When it comes to a place like, you know, this is, Virginia is the birthplace of America, mm-hmm. right? And you just said I'm a representative of the best at UVA and everything, right? Mm-hmm. But there's times where I wonder. Are we just because we're representing something? Are we accepted? Like when you take and you have like um, the cert, even in Christianity, you got certain groups that you know you got a black version of it, and then you got what the Masons. <laughs> you got the Prince Hall Masons. Then you got Masons. Here we have next week the Black Alumni. Mm-hmm. So if it's really truly accepted as one, why do we? Did we come up with it our own to represent ourselves, or was we told, okay? No, we we, we 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 black black folk at the university created spaces for themselves. I mean, consider Isabella Gibbons, right? Mm-hmm. Like you know, this, here's mm-hmm. this woman who learned what she learned, and and then created this school, which is now the we know now as the Jeff School, right? Mm-hmm. You created a school. You didn't, you, you for, for all of intents and purposes, you created this space. We've had first at the university. And you, you want, as, as parents, as, what is, it, what is it like to be black in, in Charlottesville? What is it l- like to be black at UVA? And we pull them aside and we talk to them. And we are here, especially at the office. Mm-hmm. We are here to nurture your child. So why can't we do that with uh, the issues that you were talking about? Like we create a space that's for ourselves. Like, so I'm not saying that I'm hearing it as contradictory, but I'm just wondering if you can say that, that this was highlighted and we created our own space. Why do we have to get involved with places outside of the United States and have, we can have empathy, but why do we have to get involved and have action? And I and I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna say something. Don't get yourself that, in trouble. No, for me. no, 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 no. I, because this, <laughs> I don't know. I mm. I don't know, and that and I tell them, the 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 best answer 
instead of fumbling through it, admit that you don't know. I don't have the answer for that. Even in 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 my limited time at the university, um, I'm still fighting to to provide yeah. equity and and to reassure my student that O Triple A is home for you. Mm-hmm. This is where you can chill and 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 just just be, and and we have it's it's it's, it's we have what we call Black Friday. And Black Friday is you you come out on the old AAA and it's sort of like a block party. It's some food and it's a table and we set it up. And, you know, for two hours, the students can just be amongst themselves. Now, you know, we're not telling folks you can't come if you, you're not black. That's not how we do. But this mm-hmm. is what we do as as a reminder, this is home. We, we give you food. Right, right. We, we're chilling, whether we play in spades or you know, complete the verse. And it was like Dean Davis, and like, no, I can't sing. Don't you don't want to do that? That's that's not even going to work. <laughs> um, but when the parents come over to us and say, all the universities we've we've been through, as far as PWIs, you know, predominantly white institute, right. we've never seen this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that's deep and that's and that's necessary mm-hmm. and I, I have this conversation in, in different um, you know venues same but same exact conversation a lot because it's because when we're in you know PWIs and we're in you know like these these like white controlled spaces and we're sort of made to code switch we're made to assimilate mm-hmm. and so then you can't then victim blame and, and say oh like why are y'all separating right. it's like because we're because we don't feel accepted in the norm right so I we mean, need I to mean, create I mean, this parallel I mean, you consider that's why HBCUs were created in the first place right right because black folk wasn't allowed to mm-hmm. go to PWIs mm-hmm. right and so now you you have modern day politicians going well I feel like that's 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 anti-white right. like, well, no mm. kidding, <laughs> right? Like that's why it's called historically black colleges and units. Mm. The irony does not escape me, but <laughs> the these this these are folks who are disingenuous in their approach. This is all about the 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 grievance point. This is all about hollering and 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 making it and sticking to the dog whistle Blair horn that race 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 race. Then we get caught up in it. Then we start, as an example, DEI. What was the rationale for DEI? DEI was simply, look, when you have folks who look like us in a workplace and they are healthy and they're vibing because they don't, they're they not getting hammered because they're different, the, the business is going to thrive. Yeah. That, that yeah. was the whole purpose <clears throat> of mm-hmm. DEI, right? The whole purpose of 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 leveling the playing field, so to speak, with affirmative action did not come as a result of it. You know, it did not manifest as a result of black folks and manifested white women. Right. Mm -hmm. Like I'm trying to level the the playing field. And then all of a sudden it flipped. Mm -hmm. Right. So racism is going to have touch points across. If you think I'm good because, well, it's not affecting me. No, it will affect you. The, what's happening with Arizona? Well, who's leading the charge? Mm-hmm. It, you're you're quoting a law that was created by a white guy in 1864. I mean, mm-hmm. that's bananas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, right, right. That's bananas. Yeah. So this is where we are. This is why mm-hmm. I pointed out about my granddaughter. This is mm-hmm. not what I hope for you. Right, I, right. And and this is the and now we want for our children. Mm-hmm. We want our children to be able to have, right? And oh, you you must spoil her. No, meat and and meat and milk get spoiled. Mm-hmm. I just love her, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So so I, I want to be able to say, hey, this is going to be for you if you choose to go to, you know, you, you, your parents are alum at NC State. If you want to go to NC State, that's fine. If you want to go to North Carolina AT and T, that's fine. If you mm-hmm. want to go to UVA, that's fine. Where are you going to go to f- be able to shine and, and do your thing? Mm-hmm. That's what I do. And now, to your point, I had a student 
um, who not necessarily struggling, but we realized after going back and forth of figuring things out and, and just a very strong accent. Wait a minute. You're French. You speak French. Hmm. And she beautiful. Mm-hmm. I mean, beautiful, beautiful. Well, that only makes perfect sense for me. Why not take a French course? You, mm-hmm. You'll clean it up. Mm-hmm. And it, it'll be comfortable for you to speak in your native tongue. Now, would another advisor have mentioned that? <laughs> mm-hmm. right. But but you, you, you mind. So I want, again, level the playing field and honor who you are. Right, right. That right. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, um, so as to sort of bring this home, Dean yeah. Davis, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by none other than uh, Dean Hashim Davis. And uh, so, <clears throat> the where did this uh, situation, getting back to sort of the, you know, the crux of our discussion, because you said that the, that the conflict, mm-hmm. you know, um, between Israel and Palestine is pretty much old as time, mm-hmm. as what you said. Where did the politics come into play? Because fact of the matter is, I kind of feel, and I want your take on it, I, I feel like that's the hang-up nowadays more so. Because, because we are sort of blinded by the human rights violations, whether Israel is inflicting them, or whether there's Palestinians inflicting them, Hamas, whoever it may be. We've, like we've got, to me, it seems like it's every campaign it's a political chess move with this conflict. Mm. Who's on our side? Who's on this side? Who's for that? You know what I mean? And instead of it being about where's the humanity, like we looked at the world kitchen that got bombed. The world was against that, right? But it still seems to be this thing where, where you can't speak out too much against that because somebody may think that you're anti-Semitic if you do. You know what I mean? Right, right, like so, right. so the political chess piece seems to be hanging this thing up. And I'm curious, while that conflict is as old as time, where did the politics come in and how do we remove that so we can solve it as human beings? Yeah, the, the politics goes back to um, how the world was going to be viewed in terms of it being divided mm. in the post-World War II era. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about the Balfour. For those who don't know, just look at the Balfour Accords, right? That was a mandate that came out from England. England was a colonial superpower Mm -hmm. right well before she got introduced with nuclear weapons but she was a colonial power for all intents and purposes right so so we're looking at colonialism we're looking at right right right. what that means right when we start talking about again with with rwanda what was the difference between the hutus and the tutsis Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who determined that right It, it was europeans as a result of European colonialism, yep, right? Yep. So when we, we start asking ourselves, what is the source of this? I, I'm, I, look at it, I look at it this way. It would be in the best interest of Israel's security to end this as quickly as possible, if not, you're, you are fostering potential problems among those who live within your borders. And what mm-hmm. I mean by that is this, is this is a cesspool. This is a breeding ground for extremism. Mm-hmm. The, the, if for no other reason, if that you know, if you're not going to do it for the humanitarian, look at it from the long game. Okay, mm-hmm. what is thirteen thousand children are dead? Mm. You know, something else that came to mind <clears throat> in listening to uh, the recent arguments about the taking local action and whether or not our council should, and hearing the arguments of the community members, uh, Jewish people, and their supporters. It did make me wonder what role faith had to play, spiritual faith had to play in that in that whole situation. And, and I say that because for those staunch 
believers who believe in the higher power or in God or Jesus, I, I wondered whether or not they they considered, thought about if their actions that they were requesting of man, of human beings to take, were were could be considered futile considering the fact that ultimately don't don't you go to your higher power or your God to petition him for things like ending this war or stopping the killing or different things like mm. that. Mm. Mm. I mean that's 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 a profound question and and my my fear is if you were to ask that question as as a person asked that question mm-hmm. to petition and make such a petition mm-hmm. go before mm-hmm. your your lord mm-hmm. go before god and mm-hmm. say hey can you what happens when you don't get an answer mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what happens when you didn't get the immediate answer mm-hmm. what happens when no matter how much you want to do a way back machine and try to go back in time, that's not happening. Mm-hmm. You're right. What does that say about my relationship with God? What mm-hmm. does it say about what it means to be a child of God? Mm-hmm. What does it mean when you say, I'm so angry, I'm mad at God? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because this can't be God. Yeah. Right. That, that conversation could get real complicated. Do, do you understand? I, I, and, I, and it's <laughs> comments expressed by Hashim Davis doesn't necessarily mean, right? No, I'm just that. That's an entirely different conversation. In so far as we're we're getting into some really heavy yeah. issues, but there are some touch points mm-hmm. into that. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I and and I think that it's it's worth having. But I'm reading the tea leaves as well. Mm-hmm. And the tea leaves are saying this thing has to come to an end. It, it, we're not even talking about, oh, should it have started? It, it needs to come to an mm-hmm. end, mm-hmm. period. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Yeah. Miss Max? Yeah. N- nothing left to really say. I mean, it was a great conversation. Thank you for sitting down with us and sharing your insight. It. It was a wonderful, wonderful conversation. Thank you. And I know Thank that our listening me. audience enjoyed it. You must come back. It's the first time I've met you, but you've Thank been you. on the show before. Um, and we appreciate you. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. Thank you for having me.